you went to school for something else. You wanted to be a teacher, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I went to school, started elementary education, and then I, I shattered a teacher um, and realized that uh, I, didn't, I didn't have the patience or the um, just the decency of a, of a human to deal with kids every day and not bring in my own personal bullshit and like, you know, be there to support them every day. And um, yeah, so like I, I just kind of changed my major to sport management, which was something I was more familiar with growing up was just sports and athletics and stuff. Um, and then, yeah, and then halfway through, uh, I guess, sophomore year, um, I was basically failing out. I was getting really bad grades and I was just not going to class, not going to, you know, not doing any homework um, and just kind of hanging out and partying. And then I kind of realized I was like, well, why am I accumulating all this debt if I don't like, 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 like I'm going to get a job that I don't give a shit about that. I'm just going to like hate basically that I'm going to be like going through Monday through Friday, looking forward to those two days of the week and like, can't wait till the weekend. And then once Monday comes around, like, Oh, here we go. Monday. Uh, I was like, that's, that sounds like a, it just sounds like a way to me. It, it felt like I was, you know, I wanted to be in a career that I was like excited about that. I really like looked forward to that. I was just, that there was no such thing as like a weekend or a week, you know what I mean? That it all kind of blended together and it was all just, um, you know, just, just keeping me excited to, to be alive, you know? And, uh, so, so yes, yeah, so I, I thought about sports and I was like, oh, maybe I'll do like, try to get into like, per, like just athletics, professional sports. And that was a quick, you know, no, cause I'm six foot one and skinny and just don't have the commitment or the discipline. So that was, that was a quick no. And then, um, and then, yeah, at the time I was, uh, I was, I was basically, um, I had an elective open and a friend recommended that I take an acting class, like just for fun, like a beginner fundamentals of acting. And, and I was like, yeah, that sounds great. Cause you know, I used to make student films in high school with some friends, uh, instead of doing book reports. So, you know, like my English teacher, she would let me and some friends, uh, you know, for whatever book we were reading, we did the one on Grendel, I think was one was a big one. And, um, in like, uh, Voltaire and like, oh, like, we reading some funny stuff, but, uh, but I was like, yeah, that sounds great. I'll do that for fun. And that was the only class, like the only class other than maybe disc golf, which was also an elective, obviously, uh, that I would like look forward to, that I was excited to go, that I would work on outside of the classroom um, and that I really paid attention and, and loved. And so, um, yeah, so then I, then I decided that, uh, that I was going to audition for the theater program. And if I got in, I would completely full on change my major and, and buckle down and focus and, and however long it took, I would, I would just, you know, would just work hard. And, uh, yeah. And also, I mean, this is a very, is this very PG? Is this kind of like, uh, just say can, whatever? You can say whatever. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, so also not, not to say that I wouldn't have come to this realization without it, but this also happened. This basically happened over, um, a night where I was tripping on mushrooms. <laughs> I was like, I was just, my mind was just like, I was like at this um, like place in my life where, um, you know, it was my first time doing shrooms and, and, and and I was like I kind of just and it was, it was nuts. A lot of a lot of like crazy stuff happened, but uh, but like but all you know for the best, obviously. And uh, and yeah, I man, I just it was like I had this like you know realization, this moment where I was just kind of like where I wanted to be like I, I should get a job or a career in something that I love. Like whether or not I make money is is regardless because I won't care if I'm making money if I'm happy, you know. Um, and also like just something that I look forward to every day would would just that's satisfying to me, you know. And, and, and it doesn't feel like it's true, man. I mean, like I've, people always told me growing up, it was like, you know, find something you enjoy, find something you love and you never work a day in your life. Yeah, you know, like it's hard. And it's sacrifice. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it's, it's really made all the difference and it's true. And it's also never too late. I mean, I know so many people that uh, shy away from, you know, pursuing a dream or pursuing something because they're like, ah, it's too late. I'm too old. Or I'm too this. I'm too that. And it's like, you have no, like, there's no, what, like why not you yeah. know what i mean there's no other, it's like it's like it's like you have nothing to lose you right, know right what's stopping well, some you? people are like so well some people i guess like oh well i have my benefits that i, that I have or my harder intention or whatever it's like or i have these things and in my mind it's like I, like i don't know you can't take it with you you know what i mean like you can't take anything with you so it's like why i don't know like for me it's just kind of like you know do whatever makes you happy right now mm -hmm. like for the future as long as it's not screwing anybody else over and uh, and just have fun because like life life is so short man and it's like